a Big Bad Toy Store, as well as Toshi Station Collectors. Thank you for sending out these, um, a decal and a magnet. I want to put this on my fridge. That's cool. Like to have other fellow, fellow YouTubers. Out on your fridge. Anyway, today we're looking at the Heavy Mandalorian, the infantry, the him. And if it was armored, they were like, it's going to be called the ham. But, um, Biopass Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. Now this guy's rated at 281. Whoa, it's a big boy with a big price. I do not want to advertise it like that. I don't like that price. Price tag is a bit high. Yeah, he's a big guy, but man, oh man. Sideshow, what are you doing here? Now, I don't know what he retails for off uh, straight Hong Kong pricing, but um, October 2020 to December 2020, long time. We've got to wait. Um, maybe if this guy is in future episodes, yeah. And if you didn't know, fun fact, John Favreau, is that his name? I forgot just now. I think it's John Favreau. The director um, voiced this guy, the heavy infantry guy. And um, just a little fun fact. That's kind of cool how he does that. But um, this guy is basically part of the Mandalorian guild that was there on that planet that they were hiding out on. And they had to run. So he got in a fight with the guy and then helped out the Mandalorian. That's their backstory. Um, but as far as this guy, you can read whatever he comes with down, down below. And we'll start going over the images. Now, as for the image Oz, um, this, he's kind of weirdly, in his scale, his, 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 his scale makes him look like more of a Black Series figure. I don't know what it is about him, but um, to me, this give, gives me the War Machine vibe, like Iron Man, which is the Mandalorian, and um, uh, what's the other guy, Mandalorian, and this basically gives me like an Iron Patriot type feel. So, it also comes with a backpack, which is cool. Every Mandalorian needs a backpack, and soon we'll probably get Mandalorian gaining a backpack, and I can't wait till they actually make the chromed-out version of his um, uh, dude for Hot Toys and, and stuff. There isn't much really to say about this guy. It is what it is. It's a Mandalorian armored salvage looking stuff. The details, of course, are great. Um, I'm not going to complain about that. Details are great. I love the damaged look about it. And this isn't 21 by 9. I don't know how to do it because um, my uh, my monitor, I got an ultra wide monitor now. So it's it's filming in ultra wide now. So I don't know how to fix that so that's it is what it is if you have a phone you can pinch to zoom and it kind of fits your screen right if not then if you're watching this on like a tv and stuff like i'm sorry i don't know what to do about it but it does come with this little heavy machine gun at the back i don't know if that's going to be linked with a wire kind of like the wolf predator thing the tail on um, the alien tail that came with the wolf predator i hope it's not wired like that i hope it's some like loose linkage that you can you know be pretty dynamic with it and then the backpack, of course, comes with the flame effects that you saw earlier, which is cool, as always. And it's a big boy. Look how beefy he is. Like, Mandalorian's a six-foot uh, guy, and he's a regular-scale 12-inch figure. Mandalorian's going to be pretty beefy. And if I can see um, War Machine... War Machine... I'd compare him to War Machine. And he looks pretty pretty beefy. So, this guy's fat. Like, he He's fat. Like Al Pacino, a corpus little farmer. Here they are holding hands in that scene when they were um, picking um, fruit for their um, wedding in the future. They were holding hands and, and doing the dance they were going to do with the knives because it's cultural to the Mandalorians. That's what they do when they're about to get married. And this is such a classic Iron Patriot. Like, I, I don't know. I just get some Iron Man vibes from this big guy. I like how he actually has the Mandalorian symbol on his um, shoulder, which is cool. That's what I like about Hot Toys. Um, Material-wise, it's it's all looking good. It's obviously nothing that I hate, which is the pleather. I mean, you have something around the belt and stuff, maybe the shoes, but I, I doubt that. The shoes will probably be sculpted. The belt, and that's probably the only part where that pleathery stuff. But as far as his tailoring and stuff, it all looks good. Um, like this, this is just a, an awesome looking figure, a giant gun, um, a mini gun almost and stuff like that. So it's just a good looking figure all in all. As you can see the details, when you go up really close, everything looks so beautiful. It just looks really nice. It's just a design makes him look very toyish. Even in the 
series, it looks toyishy, but um, it is what it is. Um, this it looks like a bayonet that he uses for a, like a pocket knife type thing, and then his big mini gun, his shoulder uh, flamethrower that's obviously sleeved, and then his utility belt, and then the flame things for his backpack rocket type thing, and then hands, and then his deep feet details, and then the I like that they gave him a dynamic flight pose uh, stand, and they could have put that sand base with him because that's that would have been fine. I don't know. I hate the sand bases they're doing, where it's like it min, min, like minimizes it to like a certain pose, so you can get the feet print right and him standing correctly. But other than that, um, the figure, all in all, nothing wrong with it. I have nothing against it. Nothing towards the design. The character is amazing. The price. I don't know if it's Sideshow. I don't know if it's Hot Toys. I haven't heard of the Hong Kong pricing yet or whatever it is, if it's like under 200 Hong Kong dollars. But man, um, uh, 281 is pretty hefty, just like this hefty guy. Um, some may say, oh, because of the size. Yeah, but it's just plastic under there. It's nothing but a just a slightly larger body. Which some could agree to an extent of, oh man, it's bigger. You get, you're gonna pay for more, obviously. Yeah, I know, but I mean that's kind of harsh though. Two eighty, three hundred dollars shipped for a plastic figure. Now it does let it give him the benefit of the doubt. It does have a lot of tailoring and a lot of armor work and details and so on and a little bit of effects and a flight post stand. Yeah, um, this guy to me should have been around two sixty, two sixty three. 267 max but another $20 more I feel I mean the Mandalorian comes with a nice little base too and he's around what yeah so this guy's 243 and then you have the big boy which is leaps ahead at $40 $40 more for what exactly you know what I mean you get what I'm seeing what I'm seeing there like how I'm saying it's not worth it but some people may say hey it's bigger it's worth it yeah it's a definite buy I understand that but 243 to 281 what happened I don't like these price jumps. I would like to know like why and so on and blah, blah, blah as to why these are price jumps. But that's my two cents on that. Although I don't like the price, I'm in love with the figure. Number five, there's a poltergeist behind me. And if you look real close, it looks like as if it wants my day. So 281, I'm going to have to stay on the fence. Um, if you don't like the show or if you, even if you like don't mind the show, like you're like, eh, the show is, eh, just pass on it. You're going to get over this guy. He's probably not going to be in too many, too many episodes in the future anyway. Um, IG-11, we all thought he was going to be a big protagonist. He was an antagonist protagonist type of a character. He got shot, shot out literally and didn't come back so far. And Gina and all those other players in the game, they're kind of just oddballs here and there so this character being an oddball figure if you're on the fence about the show if you're on the fence about this figure or if you, if you don't like the show don't get this figure it's not going to be worth it you're probably going to end up reselling it anyway later down on, on the road but well, i don't know what i just said there but for me i love the show i love mandalorians i love boba fett i love the mandalorian this guy is a must buy i'm gonna have to bite the bullet here um, not every figure is going to be an absolute killer deal. Not everything is going to be great, but I'm going to have to buy the bullet here and just buy it, right? I'm going to buy it. You hear me? That's what we're going to have to say about this. I mean, we do have the benefits of payment plans and sh sure, so on, but fix that price. Hot Toys, 267 is what I would have expected from this. $40 jump from the regular to this. It's kind of iffy. It's like, what's going on here? Um, so... You know, that's my two cents. I am buying it, but that's up to you on, on you guys. So, uh, hope you like what you saw here in Easy Company Collectibles. If you like what you saw, make sure you do subscribe because the COPPA thing coming out, you do have to subscribe to stick to my channel so you can keep seeing it. Like the videos. Liking the videos do help. And that'll be it for me. Okay, bye guys.